Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another unboxing. Um, the reason I have this white down here is because um, this is, um, as you can see, this is actually on my airport and I figured um, it's easier to see the model, um, especially when zoomed in um, on white instead of all these different colors. So, um, as you can see, this box isn't really, um, it's a soft soap box, um, which you, if you don't know, is a soap company. Um, the reason is I got this on eBay and um, eBay has a bunch of private people um, selling their own um, models and that stuff. Well, not their own, but they're, um, they own the models. And I guess this is the box that they decided to use. So let's open this box up. All right, so as you can see, here we have a bunch of newspaper. Um, I don't know if newspaper is the best cushioning um, for this, um, for these models. I think maybe um, bubble wrap and that stuff will be better. But um, here is the box. So this is a Velocity Models 1400 scale Frontier A320 with Sharklets. So taking um, a look at this box, this is a hole, there's no cover over it. And um, um, so I'll just show you guys the box. So around the front it says Velocity Models um, 1400 scale. On the side we have um, the um, picture of the model with the product code, but we also have um, a bunch of pictures and product codes of other models. Um, all are A320s. So, and on the back we have Velocity models. New releases are being added monthly to our website and it gives you um, the website name. So wh one of the things I noticed is that if you looked inside here, you can see that um, there's a hole for where the sharklet sticks out and there's nothing you can touch um, this sharklet. So I don't know if it's like the best way of protecting it because um, I know that the sharklets aren't the strongest part of these models, but let's open up the box. So this box is a lot like Gemini Jets's box and some of NG models's, but we can open this up. Um, there's also the plastic, and here we can take out the model. So it is back heavy. Um, I'm gonna place it down. Um, one thing, another thing is that here in the landing gear there is like this cotton ball. Um, I um, I don't know if this comes with all velocity models or is it just something that the previous owner put in here to protect the. Um, front landing gear. So taking a look, um, um, first first thoughts, um, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's a pretty good model. It doesn't look too off. Um, I think the, no the nose does look like the real um, A320, um, but I definitely um, noticed that there aren't any antennas and stuff, so that might be less detail. And um, just for me, that's um, it's my opinion, but the tail looks a bit discolored, I guess. Um, the color isn't as like vibrant, but let's take, the, take a look at this model in detail. So, let me focus the camera. So right here, at in, we'll start off in the front. We can of course see the nose with um, some of the equipment with the um, cockpit windows. Oh, this thing is tail heavy. And then here we can see that, uh, I'm just going to keep it like this. Um, and here we can see the name of the animal. Um, in the back it's like a frontier thing. In this case it's Griswold the bear. And then here we have the L1 door with the frontier, very very big frontier name. Moving on to the back we have flyfrontier.com and the aircraft's registration which is November 227 Foxtrot Romeo. 
and then here we have the American flag. And here on the um the tail we have the very big bear, um, which is named Griswold. Um, I do notice that there is a tiny bit of paint chipping on here, so it may not be the best. Um, the engines do look pretty good. It follows the same color as this Frontier name. It's like a, um, a dark um, green. And here we have a blue that's some um, almost the same, a bit lighter than the blue over the bear's head. Um, on the other side, it's pretty much the same thing, except here, um, where my thumb is, you, we can see um, some of the cargo doors where the luggage is stored. So on the bottom here, um, I do notice that there is a lot less detail than Gemini Jets um, or NG models as planes. Um, there is some detail, but not too much. The wing I guess the bottom of the wing lacks some detail, I could say. Um, like this NG, here I'm gonna grab the NG models. On the NG models, there, um, bottom, there's a lot more detail. And there are no antennas on this plane, like I said. So that is a downside. But um, these models um, are pretty, a lot cheaper than a lot of the Gemini Jets and NG models, which is a good thing, I guess, um, because I don't, um, I don't mind if there's no antennas or Wi-Fi box. Um, I, th I still, still think that this is a pretty good model. Um, another detail that you can see is the very small, um, on the winglets, there's a very small um, Griswold the bear. So, um, I personally don't think that this model is bad. Um, I think it looks actually really good. Um, I like everything, but I think that this model, um, I wouldn't say it's better than Gemini Jets's, but I also won't say, um, it is not as good, I guess. But it's not terrible like I would still recommend this model because the pr of the price it's actually almost ten dollars cheaper than the Gemini Jets and for me in my case this one would chip faster and I really wanted this model um so velocity models um I've heard some pretty negative things about them um people saying their molds are bad um I only have the E320 so I can't say for the whole like brand um but in this model particular, um, I would totally recommend it. Um, it's a pretty nice model. And it's going to be a great addition to my collection. Especially now, um, if you go look on eBay, Amazon, um, Diecast Airplane Store, all these model stores. Um, there's a lot more Frontier Neos now than these, I'm pretty sure, 200s. These A320-200s. So... I wouldn't say this model is rare either, but it's a pretty cool model. I would definitely recommend it if you needed it for like an airport. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty cool model. And that's going to end this unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to consider to like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.